Hi, how you doing? How are you? Hunter Price. Thanks there you go. You. How you doing? Hey, Badger. Hunter Price. <coughs> Hunter Price. Thank you. How are you? Doing? Um, how are you? Good, how are Hunter you? Price. What's up, man? How are you? Appreciate it. No problem. How are you? Thanks. Okay, so I'm Hunter Price, and I'm a junior at West Hershey High School, and I created the Bag of Field. If any of you have anything to do with softball or baseball, you know that there are way too many teams than the number of fields available. And that means that if teams need to practice, sometimes they're forced to go to some random open field throw down some bases and guess the distance between them. And I created my product, which includes all the correct bases and an uh, easy intact measuring system to allow you to get the proper regulation size infield if you need it. The problem is there's too many teams. In rec centers nowadays, they might have two fields at their complex and there might be 16 teams. And so if teams need to practice, they're not gonna be able to do that within time. And uh, in today's products, some, some people sell bases, they sell the whole set, but they don't have anything to measure it out with. They'll give you a string. You still got to guess it out. Usually people walk it out. And in baseball, like, it's really a game of inches. You, you can be out by a couple inches, and it's going to matter. So if you practice on a wrong field, then it's not going to help you. And uh, the solution is the, the bag of field. It's all of these things in a bag. It's got the bases and the measuring system. And it's uh, r much more afford affordable than a, a permanent base set. That'll be about, I'll discuss that, it's about $500. And it's extremely easy set up. It's a one-time thing. You set it up, you take it off, and you play ball. And uh, it has the measurements for all the age groups. Our mission is to uh, create a bag of field anywhere there's enough field. Anywhere somebody needs the infield, they can throw down a bag of field. And the social impact is that uh, we're going to give some of the profits to inner city organizations so that they can then prosper. And maybe they'll, if they get enough fields, they'll be able to purchase a bag of field. The product is right here. This is a smaller 3D printed mock-up of it. And so this, this folds out, and it'll be, there's a measuring tape under it. And you, go, you take the measuring tape, you walk out to first base, and you, you measure out 90 feet if you're in the pros or college or high school. Then for convenience, instead of having to come all the way back and walk back out from home plate, you just, it, it's, there's enough space right there, so they just walk out to second base. They measure it out 120 feet maybe. Then they walk out to third base. And they come back in, they put that down, they take off the, home, the, the measuring tape, they put it where they need it to be, and uh, they'll have their home plate in their field. You can pass that. Thank you. It just goes right on. Sorry. There you go. This is the uh, this front and back sketch of the 3D model that we had to print. Normally, the home plate is 17 inches wide. This one is about four or five. There you go. That will be, we we're going to try to get it. That's the main product that makes us different from all the other businesses. We're going to get a patent on that because that's what sets us apart. It's going to cost $49 for one set of a bag of field. And um, that includes the bases, the tape measure, and the home plate, which is the main product. In order to break even, we're going to need to sell just one unit. And our uh, fixed expenses are just advertising flyers, where we need to go, what we need to do. The market is... Uh, about $9 billion market, it's athletic goods. And we're going to be mainly targeting rec centers and coaches. Rec centers because there's no way for them to have enough fields for the number of teams they have. And they can just give it to their, play, their coaches, show it off. And athletes will definitely want it, any, any age group, any uh, sex. We're going to try to hit social media up. Because that's the best way nowadays for kids to see stuff, or adults to see stuff, any, any age group. And we're going to go to... Uh, try to go to rec centers and give them each one, one bag of field. And they can show it off to the coaches. The coaches might like it. They might request more. A uh, big thing would be attending sports expos because people are always looking for the next big thing at sports expos. And if we have a table set up and they see our product, they'll ask questions, word to mouth, and it'll expand big time. And uh, at tournaments, some tournaments have upwards of 16 teams. If we hand out flyers to that, that'll get not only will the coaches see it, but players will see it also. Our competition is, uh, the main competition is the baseball field in a bag set, normally sold at Walmart. It's much cheaper, not much cheaper, it's cheaper, but it does not have any sort of measuring system, which is our main concept, is to get the accuracy down. It uh, isn't reusable, and ours is much more accurate. BSN, throw down bases, those are just bases. Nothing else is sold with them. You put the bases out, you guess it, like wiffle ball kind of stuff. 
And then if you want a permanent base set, it's going to be about $500. And that's why our product is so convenient. It's easy setup, it's extremely reusable, and it's affordable. Qualifications, I'm a member of the National Honor Society at West Ashley High School. I'm on track to complete in the accounting major at our school, and I play varsity baseball for our team. Our sales projections, between uh, about baseball season, baseball season starts at about April and goes to October, but between January and February, teams are going to be practicing, and they're going to need more, more area to practice on, so that's when our sales will go up. It'll go more down as the season continues because teams are not practicing as much. They're really into the game season. And then towards December, it'll go up a little bit because Christmas and kids won't gift. We're going to need a website designer and a graphic artist, and especially the corporate business license to make sure, like, prove to people we're legit and the patent on that home plate. That's going to be our main idea because uh, we don't want anybody else taking that. And it's going to be a 86% return on investment. Future plans, establish a patent for that home plate. And we want to repackage because the bases, right as they are right now, first, second, and third base, all aren't exactly secure. But our, our, our goal is to make it to where there's sticks on the bottom of them, there's stakes, and they fold out and you stick them in the ground and you can take them up and it's very usable. And we want to get, uh, there's a few sports players, baseball here, that are, are professional now. And it's Justin Smoke and uh, Matt, Matt Weeders. Maybe they can, we can get them in connection to get their local ball players interested in this product. And sports related stories. Dix, uh, TNT Sports, Sports Authority, those things have a little section just for our, field, for our uh, product to show it off. And that's the bag of field. Thank you. Questions? Um, I think you got something here. You may not know it. You, it sounds like you're selling it retail, your package itself. But if you have a patent on this, why would you not package it up with BSN and all of the other competitors so that that becomes in their bag and you go through their distribution as opposed to trying to do it yourself? That's, pretty, that's really good. I've, I've, got, I've, I mean, I've gone to there, but then I just get thrown off. But that's a really good point. Thank you. That makes a lot of sense. Yes, sir. Where are you getting the estimate for the cost of the patent? Yeah. I, I think you may be well, underestimated. From, yeah. from just teachers and stuff like that, I've been asking around, and they said that's the, uh, that's the estimate for it. Call Bill Kilo and Barnum Whale. Yes, sir. Because you want to get a patent. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. It's, it's, it's yeah. Important. Yes, sir. But I think it's going to be more than that. All right. Thank you. Anyone else? Have you done any patent research to make sure there's the other companies that currently don't have this in place? Yes, I have looked at all the other companies, and the only one that's gotten even close is the field in the bag, and that's just, it just gives you a rope on a spool and you've got to walk it out. Gotcha. That's the only thing that's even close to it. And if you clear it, because you have a file for it. Not yet, no, sir. Yes, ma'am. I have a question on the, on the distance. How, how okay. critical is it in the game? I, and I just, because I don't know. Yeah. In well, the uh, to have that that exact yeah. distance? Um, they're 90, usually in my league, they're 90 feet, each base is 90 feet away from each other. And if you're trying to, you're running down the base after you hit the ball and the fielder's trying to throw you out, if you're four inches off on the base, that's that much you're out. And, that, and being out is the, probably the worst thing. And so you're trying to be safe. And that much distance makes a huge impact. And people that just throw down the bases, they don't have that exact measurement, and so when they play on that little practice field, it might not translate into the game the way they wish it would. Hunter, why, Timmy, I know it's got to do with something with the, the measurement part of it. Why are you so much more expensive? Because, because of just the cost of the bases are actually kind of, the bases are almost as expensive as the whole other thing that uh, Walmart sells. And uh, the adjustments made to home plate, that's what really puts a dent into the cost. So back at so the, the, your competition at Walmart, they're selling bases as well. Right? Yes. They so you're, so they're selling bases, you're selling bases, so we're equal on that on cost. Yes. And then on the base, I, and I can help you understand this a little bit better, so it actually measures out from the home base? Yeah, you have a measuring tape in home base that it measures out from the base, yes, sir. Okay, so that's the, that's the part that's running you up $20 more than? Yeah. And the, the reusability factor, because all the other ba all the other products aren't reusable, and so that the, bases aren't reusable the, the the Walmart one is permanent. You put it in there; it's not coming out the ground. It's made for like a real field. 
Yeah. So you're, you can actually just pick You can backpack. go in your backyard if you have no space, put it down, take it up, go somewhere else if you but need. The other ones, they're, they're, they're there. permanent. They're gone. Yeah. Yes, sir. Okay. So going forward, that's, that's huge. Mm -hmm. so make sure whenever you're pitching that to people, you know, you're a little bit more clear on that because I didn't get it at first, but now I understand that. Yes, sir. That's big. Yes, sir. Thank you.